What's up, Peak Timers? Let's unbox the brand new Hot Wheels Jay Leno's Garage Diorama and the Matchbox 9 pack with the new exclusive Bugatti. And here's our Jay Leno's Garage Diorama. This one obviously being a premium one from the Hot Wheels premium line. And we do have a really cool display of some cars that are inside of it. We'll look around the box so you can get an idea of what it looks like. We've got some nice logoing there. All the cars on the back that we have included, which one of them is a brand new new casting look on that side it's the same but there's no really easy way to do this besides just rip it open and let's take a look at the cars 1955 mercedes-benz blue wonder and this is the transport for the jay leno diorama and something to point out and interesting so if we look in the box they call this the 1955 Mercedes-Benz Blas Wonder. I have a feeling it's because of licensing issues when they first printed the cards for these, when they released them, they didn't have the full license name. So the real name is the Blue Wonder. They're calling it the Blas Wonder, but I mean, that's just my only assumption right there. But this one was very popular as a concept car back in the 50s for Mercedes, where they actually had it holding uh, some of their exclusive race cars. I can't remember the exact one, but it's just a very interesting design. Look at the pass through through the middle right there. Very cool that we have that right there. Just a crazy bubble design, the Mercedes logo and stuff on the back. It's obviously a flatbed on here, which is really nice. Very, very glossy blue color on there. I really like this one. Mercedes-Benz written on the side of it. Real Riders, of course, metal base on the bottom. Just look at the design on the bottom. That is just super, super cool how they've done this one. And I love the front end with that big Mercedes-Benz logoing right there. So this is a super cool addition to this set. Ford Shelby GT350R. This one is in a metallic white color with the blue stripes down the center. There we have the aggressive looking front end on this one from the side end. I really like these wheels on here, it looks really good. The black paint on the spoiler, also a really great touch to it. If we look on the back right here, we've got the nice Tampa lights right there. We've got the quad exhaust right there. So dual exhaust there, dual exhaust there. Probably sounds really good. I mean, we do have the gloss black base on there, rear rider tires on it, just all around. It's a really, really cool looking Ford Mustang. 2017 Ford GT, this one black with the orange striping down the center. It's kind of an orangey red color, but wow, that looks so good. What a great spec that Jay Leno had for his Ford GT. And we can see the side profile, it looks very sleek, just super, super clean. Love these wheels on here, Real Riders, of course. We have the metal base down there, treaded Real Riders on this one. Just look at that back end too. Look at how we have the painted exhaust tips on this one as well. We have the license plate on there. Just very, very good detail on this one for a premium car, even from the front end. I love the way they've done those lights on here. It looks fantastic. Jay Leno Tank Car is our other car for the set right here. This one being not so popular. We've seen it released before. And I mean, people are just not really grabbing this one up. It's a literally a peg warmer car, but you know what? You gotta give it some respect. It's got some like crazy big engine on here. Not sure the exact details of it. I know it's a huge engine. It's a li really long car in real life as well. Big, massive, slick real riders on here. We've got the treaded ones on the front end. It's a pretty cool looking thing. It's an interesting car. Not really my thing though either, but it's a good addition to this set, I still think. And going back to the Blue Wonder, let's go ahead and put some of the cars on here so we can see what they look like. We'll put the Mustang on there. Eh, it doesn't really suit it too well. We'll put the Ford GT on there. The Ford GT is pretty long. I don't think the scale of the Blue Runder is quite correct because look at how massive the Ford GT is. I mean, it's literally almost as big as the Blue Wonder. So I feel like they scaled it down a little bit. Then we have the tank car. The tank car just doesn't even fit on there at all. Look at how it hangs off like that. I think there's only one car that really suits this Blue Wonder. And unfortunately, it's not a car from this set. It is, in my opinion, the RLC Mercedes Gullwing right there. Check that out. Being a Mercedes hauler, the Mercedes Gullwing, the 300 SL Gullwing RLC, I think that is what suits this perfectly. You can see just how cool that looks. You can even close those Gullwing doors so it has better aerodynamics for when it's hauling the 300 SL, but wow. 
that looks good. That's how it should be. I feel like they should release this hauler with a 300 SL. I think that would be just perfect for it. And there we have all of the cars from this Jay Leno's Garage Diorama. Let me know which one is your favorite. Matchbox 9 pack. This is a brand new one that was just released. And obviously I bought this for one specific reason. You know why. But let's go ahead and open it, have a quick look at all of our other cars and then our Bugatti. First is the 2007 Audi R8, one of our original releases of the R8. This one in a nice high gloss white, nice wheels on there, that carbon fiber imitation blade on the side, good stamping on the rear end for this one. 1969 BMW 2002, like the color on this one. It's really subtle, but it's, it's a good crisp color on here. We do have the old classic style wheels on there, the old BMW front end. Also look at that chrome base on there, quite interesting one. Ford Police Interceptor with the big police on the side of it, light bars on the top, gloss black, push bar on that front end right there, those classic police wheels. Nothing really special besides that, besides being your, just your regular police interceptor. MBX service truck, and how about this, a mail truck on this one right here. Nothing opens or closes. I wish they had like something that popped up in the back. That would have been super cool. You can see it's got that kind of Matchbox's own mail system logoing on the side, not licensed by any major mail carrier at all, but nonetheless, that is your mail carrier. 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia right here. Uh, this color is not really my thing at all. It's nice metallic though, but we have these nice wheels on here, which look good stamping on the back. I like how they've integrated the exhaust right into the bumper right there. It looks kind of cool with the diffuser right there. Juliet says on the back with the Alfa Romeo logoing, and there is your classic Alfa Romeo front end on this one. Rescue helicopter, and this one is looks like some sort of ambulance rescue helicopter. The top blade though, I must say a little bit disappointing. It doesn't like spin when you spin it. It's a little bit like tough, so eh, well, well whatever. It's got white on the base, but there's your helicopter. Jeep Willys, this one in red, kind of a classic looking Jeep. I actually think it looks super, super clean. I like the wheels on here. They suit it perfectly. Little two seater with the little storage area in the back, the spare wheel tire on the back end of this Jeep Willys. Ford Explorer, and this is some sort of like off-road tour thing. I'm not too sure exactly what it's supposed to be. Maybe like a park ranger of some sort. It's got all different types of stuff on the top to put storage on and little lights and stuff like that. Push bar on the, like really aggressive push bar on that front end of this one. But kind of interesting to see a Ford Explorer done this way. And Bugatti Devo. Here it is a yellow Bugatti Devo from our Matchbox 9 pack. It is the exclusive car for this set, so it's only released in these nine packs. And it's actually better once you take it out. I love how you can see the little slats and the, the painted areas right here, the painted top on here. So good detail on there. These wheels, I think, look fantastic on it. Love that painted spoiler right there. Even the line that they have painted, it kind of looks like a stingray right there. Super, super cool how they've done that one right there. There is your back end with that really aggressive diffuser front end looks super, super cool. And actually grabbed some of the previous releases of the Bugatti Devo. So we've got the red Bugatti Devo right there, which is really, really nice. And then we've got our kind of like dark gray, almost blackish Bugatti Devo. It's in like a matte finish to it. We'll, we'll try to keep these all in my hand so I can show you all of them here. We do have the gray one right there. It's kind of a matte gray finish with a blue trim. That one looks super cool. I really like that one. And lastly, we do have the 70th anniversary one, which is like a silverish glossy gray color, or it's kind of, yeah, that's basically what it is. Silverish glossy gray. I'll call, we'll call it that. We'll stick with that. How about that? What do you guys think of that though? But here, we'll put them all in my hand so you guys can see all our different color variations of the Matchbox Bugatti Devo. You guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think and which one is your favorite.